is there a unique set of conditions that create optimal learning? I've been studying this for a long time. I actually started off my career as an actor and a director and even a writer before that. And I've always been fascinated by how do you create the space for learning? And what does that look like? Because we just can't give people information and expect that they're going to regurgitate it. We have hundreds of books, maybe even more books on leadership than we have leaders. That's not enough. We have to create that space, that sacred space, that stage for learning. So there's three things I think that are important. One is presence. Presence is the ability for the facilitator, the team leader, the individual to get into the present moment. It's them being able to no longer be thinking about the past or the future, but bringing themselves back into their body, bringing themselves back into ultimately their intuition, their full self starts to show up. Learning can't happen if we don't have that as a foundation. So we need to be able to create that kind of environment where people get here. And there is just an amazing amount of distractions that we have now that we probably have never had before in the history of humankind. We've got billions of bits of information coming at us every day, each one saying, please pay attention to me. Please acknowledge me. And so we are inundated with distractions. And plus now we have these cell phones that are constantly beeping and humming and ringing to be able to get our attention. The art of being present is losing its ability in most people. And so that's number one, we have to get present. So number two in this model around how do we create optimal environments for learning is around purpose. Purpose really is about what's our intention for this meeting, what's our intention for this training, what's our intention for this team or a company our organization. What is that bigger vision that we individually need to have in order for us to feel like our life has meaning and value, but also that has to translate into our teams and our organizations. And so purpose is our reason for being. And if we can't articulate that, then we start feeling apathetic, duty bound, and maybe even a slight bit depressed because What's the point? So purpose is extremely important. The last one is around play. And play is a word that I love because it even just makes me smile thinking about it. Play is the creative part. It is the ability for us to fail and not worry about whether or not things have fallen apart. It's that experimentation. It's pulling ourselves back into that childlike behavior where we could play and it was not seen as an opportunity for failure, but more as an opportunity for discovery. So in learning environments, we need to create the ability for teams and organizations to learn by doing, not just what's in my head, you're gonna give it to me, but I need to try this on. I need to put on the coat and see how it feels. I need to take that concept and do something with it right away. I need to have a simulation or a, a, a some sort of a, an activity that turns this concept, this idea, into living, breathing reality. So simulations and role plays and that ability to play with this idea is really important. So the three P's again are presence, purpose, and play.